I've got Michael Williamson with me, the Chuck Taylor most valuable player in the tournament. Congratulations. Hey, how about your guys? I mean, you had a track meet, you go to overtime. How do you get any gas left in the tank for tonight? It's from last year. It all started from last year. We've been ready since last year when we blew this game last year. We knew we should have been national champions, and we were not going to settle for nothing less than the championship this year. Welcome to the show. We have a very special show for you today. We have a former men's basketball star and current USA student on the show to talk about the glory days of Drover basketball and how he found his way back to USAO almost a decade later. This is In the Saddle. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to rumble! the show. We have a really special one for you today. We have all-time leading scorer Mike Williamson who played for us in the national championship days and has recently returned to the university. Thanks for being on the show. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. You played for us from 1999 to 2003 and um, helped lead us to become national runners-up in 2001 and win the championship in 2002. So tell me about those days. Yeah, those were some of the best days of my life. I mean, I had I had a blast, you know, met a lot of good people, you know, been successful. It always makes the season funner, you know, and everything. So, I mean, it's just, those are days that I can remember like yesterday and I, I'll never forget, you know, I'll never forget them. So. You said you got a lot of home crowd support and it yeah, was just a we fun just, time to play. Yeah, we just, it was also, our gym was always packed. It's like, if you didn't come during the girls game, you probably wasn't gonna get in. That was the kind of crowds we had, we had a good, supporting crowds on the road, you know, a lot of supportive parents and administration and everything. And it was just fun. Every night it was a challenge because we were one of the top teams, so we had a target on our back, If you know, after the championship, the first, the runner-up year. And it was just, I just can't explain, I can't put it in words how fun it was. And um, you still hold, you top the record books um, in career points, field goals, three-pointers, and assists. So how did, how did you do it? Yeah, just preparation, just, uh, you know, preparing, you know, shoot, shooting the ball a lot, working hard in practice, you know, being coachable, listening to my coaches, watching film, you know, just the desire to, to be successful. You know, I, I never, I never just was satisfied with how I was. I always wanted to get better. I always wanted to, to shoot better or jump higher or run faster or defend more, or pass better, you know, so. That's what it was, just being humble and, and not scared of hard work. And after USAO, you went and played professionally for a couple of years, and that took you to some kind of exotic places. I went to England the first two years, and I had um, pretty big, pretty big numbers I put up out there, and you know, put me kind of out there in the rotation of, you know, good players. And after that, I went to Brazil. I wanted to try something different, try a tougher level, a higher level, and. You know, I played against a lot of um, Olympians in Brazil that play for the Brazilian Olympian team, so that was a lot of fun. And, you know, just the weather was awesome. And just the experience, you know, the, the, the language was really tough. And, you know, that was a big challenge for me. But other than that, I mean, it was fun. And uh, almost a decade later, you returned to USAO to finish up your degree and um, help out with the men's program. So what brought you back? Yeah, just uh, wanting to do better. You know, in life, not being settled for, you know, a nine to five and living check to check. And plus, you know, I just, my, my dream was to coach, you know, and, and I, I tried to see if I could do other things and it, I always came back to coaching. So I knew that, you know, that was my calling and I've always liked to do it, you know, and I have a family to support now. And, you know, and so that, that's, that's what brought me back to finish, you know. And what's your role with the, the men's program? Well, just more of a, 
I'm more of a motivated type coach, you know, try to show the guys, you know, the way to become better players, better teammates, you know, better, you know, better students and, and you know, just kind of relate to them on a level, say, hey, I've been there, I've done that, I understand, you know, but this is what it takes to, in order to be successful, I mean, because, I mean, we were very successful when I was here. And you find that the guys listen to you maybe a little, a little more. Yeah, yeah, I think they they can relate to me more than they they can because you know, coach them are a different generation. I'm closer to these guys, and you know, I understand some of the things that they think and what they go through, and you know, and yeah, they they listen. To, I mean, and that's what I do like about our guys because they they are very respectful and they're very coachable. You know, and I think they give everything that they can, but you know, I'm gonna still push them past their limitations yeah. though. Yeah. Well, they're, they're real fun to watch this year, so people have really enjoyed that. You're planning to graduate in April, and you want to stay around coaching after that. Yes, yes I do. I'm hoping to get a coaching job right away. You know, my, my dream was to coach here at USAO, but we don't know if that'll, you know, open up right away or maybe two or three years down the line, but I would like to, to give it a go on the, co uh, the college level. You know, I'm not too fine to high school just yet, but you know, I tried high school in 07 and it just, it was different. It was fun, but it was different. You know, I'd rather coach in college. Well, we have a lot of fans who are really glad seeing you back or on campus and with the program. So it's good to see you and thanks for being on the show. Thank you. And now it's time for Fan of the Week. Last week's Fan of the Week was Jake Crace. Again, congratulations. And this week's Fan of the Week is Kelsey Kreiger. Congratulations to you. Well, that's our show. For more details about the 2002 National Championship, go to the USAO Sports website and click the multimedia link to watch a video about the National Championship. And congratulations to Coach Williamson and all the other graduating seniors. We'll see you next time on In the Saddle.